Hey guys, and thanks for stopping back to my channel. So, um, today's video um, is going to be pretty much my story of what brought me to YouTube. I was inspired by a fellow YouTuber, um, Tara Michelle. Uh, her channel is War Paint with Tara Michelle. So, if you're not subscribed to her, if you haven't checked out any of her videos, I would say do so. She is a very, very sweet person. And, um, she definitely responds to her fans, which is something that I absolutely love. She is one of my favorite, um, YouTubers right now. So, um, basically I've talked a little bit about my story, but today I wanted to do a video strictly on why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. Um, also, before I get into that, I am going to do a small haul from Walgreens, and I'm going to test out what's supposed to be a smudge-proof lipstick. I'm going to wear it in this whole video. We're going to see if it's smudge-proof, um, because I have a request to do a date night um, tutorial with a smudge-proof lipstick. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sorry that I look a hot mess today, but... Um, it's just one of those days. So let's just jump right into the video. So I went to Walgreens to get a smudge proof lipstick and I ran into these guys. Which is something that I've never tried, never even heard of. It's a Tattoo Junkie um, from Los Angeles. It's a lip paint. It says long-lasting liquid lipstick um, that dries matte, smudge-proof, and it comes with like this little neat glitter in there, which I'm not going to put on my lips. I'll probably honestly use the glitter for my eyes. I don't really like glitter on the lips. Um, so I grabbed two of those because I really like this dark color, and I'll open those in just a second. And then I grabbed two more lipsticks, which were not, I wasn't even in there for those. Um, one of them is the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Velvet, and it's matte, and the color is Burning Lava, and if you guys have watched any of my videos before, I've kind of touched based on the, uh, base on these, I really like them. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. That's definitely a red, and as you can tell, it's already going matte. The shine is already coming off of it, so that's really pretty. And then I decided to try out, they have like um, a Disney line at Walgreens, so I decided to try out, um, they only had one left, it's called Potion, and it just looks like that, it has like a, a um, one of the Disney characters on there, uh, Melissa said. And let's open that up and swatch that. I don't know anything about um, the Disney line, the makeup. I've seen a couple of reviews, like from bloggers online. And from what I understand, it's a cute line and people really seem to like the makeup. So, that's a pretty color. Another red. Let's swatch that. It's like a red-orange. Definitely matte. That's right there. So that's pretty. I'll have to try that out and let you guys know what I think about that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this one open that I plan to wear for this video. And we'll see if at the end, if it's smudge proof. And... The color is called Pucker Up. Ooh, that's really cute packaging. Again, it's lip paint. It's supposed to be long-lasting and a smudge-proof lip color. We'll see. Ah, it smells like cupcakes. That smells good. We'll swatch that across my hand. I don't know. It seems a little watery. Hmm. We'll see. It's right there. So I'm going to apply this to my lips. I'm not going to put a lip liner on because we're just testing it out for the video. And normally, I would definitely line my lips. I 
don't know if I like the way this formula feels yet. It seems like it's already drying, though. Well, it's definitely pretty red. And, um, seems to already be drying, which is a good thing. So I guess if you wanted to stay shiny, I would probably add a lip gloss. So we're going to keep this on while we go over the video and see how it is at the end. We'll see if it's smudge proof. We'll, we'll give it the kiss test. So, anyways, um, pretty much why I started my YouTube channel is really because I've talked about it in a couple other videos just briefly. Um, my husband and I got married June of 2014 and a few months later we found out that we were expecting, which was like super excited because he didn't have any children and he was just, you know, so ready to start a family and I do have a five-year-old from a previous relationship, um, but definitely ready to start over. Um, so in December of 2014, you know, when you go in for your scan and you're so excited to find out if you're having a boy or a girl, we found out we were having a boy, which we named Grayson. And in that appointment, we also found out that his kidneys were enlarged and uh, never seemed to have a full bladder, just seemed like his kidneys weren't working, which turned out to be the case, along with a lot of other things. Grayson was born at 32 weeks, two days. He's born the day after my birthday, March 6th, um, 2015, and he lived for 19 hours. He passed away on March 7th, 2015. He was very sick, definitely. Now you guys can see why I'm not wearing makeup today because it's very emotional. Um, we're thankful for that time that we had with Grayson. And a lot of people question, why would you not terminate the pregnancy? Why would you carry a sick child, um, you know, knowing that he was sick? But here's the thing that people don't understand. We were not 100% sure of Grayson's survival chances. And ultimately, we wanted to give him that chance at life. We wanted to meet our son. God just needed him more than we did. But we are very blessed for the time that we did have with him. And after the passing of Grayson, my husband and I, Michael, lost a lot of people that we thought would be there for us. Friends, some family turned their backs on us. Some people don't even talk to us anymore. Um, some people became very cruel. You know, I've been told... You know, move on, it happened, it's done, it's over with. How long does it take to get over it? You know, the grieving process should be done. But here's what I need to say to those people. You're never over the loss of your own child. And I feel like we can grieve as long as we need to grieve. It is going to hurt forever. We are going to miss Grayson forever. We are never going to be over that. My daughter is never going to be over that. It hurts every single day. And also to those cruel people, thank you so much for walking out of my life. Thank you for opening my eyes to the fact that we truly didn't need you in our lives because you weren't here for us anyways. If that were the case, you'd still be here. Um, it's been a very tough year, definitely, but it's definitely made us both stronger as a married couple, as a family, as individuals, and although the whole thing sucks and I wouldn't wish it on anybody and it's not something that you just, you want to go through, I'm glad that we had this experience because it really taught us a lot. Um... Which leads me to why I'm here. My mom was talking to me one day and she said, you need to do something that truly makes you happy. Something that's just a hobby for you, especially since I'm not working anymore and I need to keep my mind 
in a happy place for the most part, not be depressed. Um, she said, you know, you're so into makeup, you're so into beauty, you try out all these new products and all these new things, why don't you create a channel? And, you know, just talk about the makeup and test out things on camera. And she's like, you, you know, you do so many unique things. Just share your secrets, pretty much. And that was probably the best idea that she has ever come up with. Um, her and my husband have definitely been my biggest supporters on this. And I just have to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I have 53 sus subscribers. And no, that's not a lot to everybody else that's on YouTube that has thousands or millions of subscribers. But that means a lot to me. That, I didn't even think I would get that. So the fact that I have some of you guys watching and checking out my videos means the world to me. And I hope that Somehow, I can help other people or inspire other people to start a YouTube channel if that's what you want to do. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. Just do what you like to do. So, that is my journey, and that is why I'm here. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone who's following me. Thank you for the love and support. It means a lot. Thank you to everyone who's following me on Instagram as well. You get to see pictures of my life there. And I hope that you guys have a better understanding of why I'm here. I hope that this video touched someone today. And thank you again for watching. So, to get into this lipstick, which I got lipstick all over my fingers. Because I touched my hand at some point. It is completely dry. It looks matte and it is not coming off on my fingers, so it passed the kiss test. Nothing there. So I would definitely say that this is a nice smudge proof formula. My lips actually don't feel dry. It just feels like I have my chapstick on because I oh I put chapstick on before I put on any matte lipstick, and today I was wearing the Burt's Bees, especially with the weather, my lips have been really, really dry. And it, the color is like staying. So definitely this is probably going to be the lipstick that I use to do um, the makeup tutorial for the date night makeup, because I could just kiss all over my husband right now. The ultimate test will probably be eating and drinking in it, which I'm going to leave it on for the day. Um, let's see. It's 11.02, so I'll be eating lunch soon. So we'll see how that plays out. And then I'll come back on here. Wow, that, I just dropped glitter all in my lap. Have you guys seen that? Anyways, I'll come back on and see if the lipstick is still holding up. I'm not going to apply anything else. What you see on my lips is what it is. I cannot believe I just spilled glitter like that. Um, anyways, I just want to see what kind of glitter it is. And it's a loose glitter. Very pretty color. So I'm definitely going to just use it on my eyes. I see why they give it to you if you want a little shine. When you are when you put on this um, lipstick, when it's wet still, you can just dip it on there. But I'm not like, I don't like glitter on my lips. It makes my lips feel weird. So this would be really pretty on the eyes. We might throw some of this in the tutorial. So let's, while I have you guys here still, let's just swatch this color. And see what, I am having a day, aren't I? You guys see I'm just making a mess and dropping everything. I'm, things are flying all over my bathroom. My nose is running. All right. What color is this? Huh, that's cute. It's called whatever. Looks like that. And it's definitely a dark, vampy, ooh, rich purple. These smell so good. Like cupcakes. Seriously. That is so pretty. I cannot wait to wear that. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And the packaging, like I said, is so cute. So anyways, I got these at Walgreens. And I paid $6.99 a piece for them, which I guess some people would feel like it was unreasonable. But... 
it's a smudge proof kissable lipstick so i don't feel like that's unreasonable at all i mean there's other lipsticks that cost way more than that and see it was 6.99 and you get quite a bit of product um so all in all i would definitely recommend them i really like them i had no idea about this brand and i'm pretty sure it's probably only a walgreens carried item for those of you wondering once again i will also put it down below of what i mentioned they're the tattoo junkie um los angeles lip paints long lasting liquid lipstick that dries matte smudge proof and it comes with um the cute little glitter all right guys so that's it for now. I'll stop back in after I have lunch. And I have a couple more things that I got on a haul over the past weekend. So I'll probably throw that in my video. All right. Thanks for watching.